welcome back in this video we are going to work on the client side authentication but in the previous video i made mention that you are going to create a utility function for redirecting but let's postpone that one into the next video so in this video we are going to focus on the client side authentication so let me briefly explain what is client side authentication is in a layman's understanding client side authentication simply means that how our react application or front end application determine whether a user has logged in or not right so as it stands if you go to login here let's go to login and when i click on login button here as you can see that it has pushed me to my profile page but there's no component to render but if you check our dev extension tool we see that we have the user being logged in but as soon as we log in our browser does not know this particular user so how can we tell our browser or our front-end application to remember that this person who has logged in has a token so the solution is that we're going to save this token into the individual browser local storage right so we're going to save this token inside local storage when a user is logged in so anytime a user wants to navigate into a certain component we will first check if there's a token inside the local storage then you allow the user to take any action otherwise we will tell you that hey you are not authorized so you cannot navigate to this component to add income or create an expense so how can we do that so the main idea in this video is that when a user is logged in we want to save this token inside local storage and pretty simple so how can we do it so ask yourself where can we implement that logic that logic we can implement that logic when a function that logs a user in and we can find that function inside client right client sorry client src redux and slices and user slices yeah because this is a function for logging in a user okay so if you scroll up here let's locate the login this login function okay so here this is a response that contains the token and the user details right so we need to create a function here and save a user into the local storage and we're going to use the built-in api that's given to us by browsers most broad like local storage so here let's comment and call this one save user into into local storage because this function you are going to use only tw only once when user log in there's no need to create a function on its own right so you can do it here or better still you can create a function inside your utility function and then call it here but let's make it pretty easy so how can we use the local storage right and pretty simple because it's a global method or function it's available as local storage and on that if you add dot you can see we have all these methods on it and the one that we need is called set item and as the name implies set something inside the local storage right and the next thing is that we need to name the variable that will hold the details that you want to save inside the local storage and here we will call it user info and you can name it whatever you want right and the next is what do you want to save i want to save what the data that is coming back from this response right and because i want to save as a json data i will pass let let's cut this one we will pass this one to json.stringify then we pass in the data as that so with this one line of code when we log in we have a property inside our local storage that hold our data so let's check it out save it save it and then let's check our 
okay let's refresh it okay let's go to login make sure you are in login component and then let's log in here when you log in here now let's check our dev extension tool right so you can just do manually come here and is it more tools and then developer tools or better still you can use the shortcut okay so now we have it let's click on this one and click on application and here there we go you see that we have local storage and this is our react application if you check the details right what do i have i have a field a field called user info right and it holds this so this one is from other application so let me remove this one okay this is what we save user info and when i open it i have this right i have this inside my local storage right so even though it is inside our local storage but better still our application does not know where it resides so what we're gonna do is that to determine if a user is logging so let me log in again let me log in again and then as you can see i have the data here so to determine to tell application that the user is logging we need the last step is that we need to persist this one inside our redox store because that is what we are using so inside our store our state we want to add this token right or the details of the user inside our local storage but right now if you go to our dev extension tool even though we have logged in successfully but there is no users state and then user off is here but when i refresh application like this when i refresh it let's see what we have you see that there is no data so what we're gonna do is that whenever our application runs we want to check we want to take that token from the local storage and place it inside the redox store and we can do that one inside our users what slices here so let's see how you're going to do it and if you understand the flow i'm going to show you you're going to be a master of redox toolkit and redox as as a whole and it's pretty simple so come here remember the idea is that we want to have some initial state right right now the initial state is an empty but let's try to provide something like user and let's say whatever <coughs> sorry let's add your name so when i go to the application when i refresh my application you will see that for my initial state i have what uses and anytime i want to make requests i'll check my my redox store and see whether ajax has blocking but instead of using this starting data like emmanuel let's pull let's check from the local storage if there's a token therefore we can add it to this initial state right so let's come here and let's come here okay come here and say that let's add some comments say get get user from local storage and place and place it inside our store our redox store as that okay so the comment is buggy but understanding the most important part of it okay so here how can we do that so let's comment let's add a very let's assign a variable to that okay let's assign a variable to const so let's call this one const user login from storage so i want to make it more user friendly so user login from storage so you can name it whatever you want but i just want to make it more user friendly for you to understand what i'm doing so to get something from local storage we use the same global api local storage local storage this time around is not dot set but instead it's what get get item right and this we need to pass 
the data you used to save right here we use what is called what we use the login we use user info where is it here so copy that one make sure you use the exact name otherwise we're going to get undefined cool so here i get the user item right but let's make some conditionals if there is a user data therefore append to this user login from storage otherwise let's say undefined so to to, to, to make it happen first of all we say that local storage if there is a data on the user info right then question mark therefore i want to pass it back to get an object so i'm going to use what is called json.pass right so json.pass this time around is passed so passing from json to real object right so json.pass so password i'm going to pass everything from here this one because if there is data on this one, therefore we can pass it. So place it inside this pass function. All right. So if there is no data in there, then let's return undefined. So here we can now assign this user login from storage to our initial state. So here let's add some user friendly variable called user of. And here I can assign this one to this and that is it so now if you refresh the application right and let's check our dev extension to states and there we go you did see that we have the user of right so that is it so anytime we want to make some request there is a token so if i go back to the browser and delete the token so click on that and let's delete and i refresh the application let's check my dev extension too if you see that there is no user off here it means the user has logged out by himself so now that we we persist the user inside the local storage now what we can do is that we can now implement what, what is called protected route. So in the next video, in the upcoming ones, you are going to implement some protected route. If you are not logged in, it will not allow you to move to the next page. So now that we have the client side validation being working, sorry, authentication being working, the next video, we are going to take it from here.